notions. There's a complex range, right? Now I want you to keep this in mind while you think of a child and you're helping them read. But they look up at you with tears streak down their face and they say, I just can't do it. I'm stupid. How does this make you feel? Or think of a small child with big smiles, slips their hand into yours and says, I love walking with you. How does this make you feel? These moments demand an emotional response. Now take one moment, multiply that by about 25 students, and then by about 300 minutes in the day, and that's the emotional work of a teacher. But the problem is, teachers are often expected to neutralise their emotions, to not react, to put on a blank mask. Is this healthy? Well, the literature tells us that 28% of teachers are on the path to burnout within their first five years of employment. It also tells us that out of the different ways we cope with our emotions, avoidance has the most negative impact on our health and wellbeing. But whether we do naturally or whether we're expected to, teachers regularly avoid, cover up and mask their emotions just to manage through. There is literature on this, but there isn't a lot on how we can support teachers through it. I'm working with a group of teachers at a single school on an action research project. The first cycle of action is where I work one-to-one -one with each teacher through a collaborative inquiry. This is when the teacher brings in a critical incident and together, through specific questioning, we try to find ways to enable reflection and explore the underlying emotions to uncover the multiple layers. The second cycle is much the same, but with a group of teachers working together. In essence, it's a project that seeks to collaboratively trial and develop a support framework for teachers by teachers. Why is this important? Well, think again. Nearly one third of newly trained teachers may be lost to the profession. That's a big loss. Also, think of the emotions aroused in the first two scenarios. Sadness, despair, love. These are strong emotions. Doesn't it make sense that if we support our teachers, they will be better placed to support our children in these same moments? Actually, doesn't it make sense for all of us? Hasn't your workplace ever been emotional? Thank you.